Hello everybody, this is Maniac 4 Bricks, and I'm here today with another haul video, but this has no LEGO whatsoever. This is going to be something I'm starting up in 2017, or at least continuing from 2016, to a bigger degree. So, stay tuned to the end of the video to find more information about that. For right now, let's just go right into it. I already did an unpacking for this video, but unfortunately all the, all the footage kind of got cut short. So, uh, bit, to put it basically... All the stuff you see right here, I got from GameStop, I ordered it online, I picked it up in store, and what do we have here? Well, we've got two different memory cards for the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 1. And I have a PlayStation 2 Slim currently, and just want to see which one works well, and hopefully they both work pretty nicely. Then we have, for the GameCube, Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. I already have played Rogue, Rogue Squadron 3, which is Rebel Strike, and I've had a lot of fun with that game over time. So I'm excited to play another Star Wars game of the same franchise, or in the same series. Next up, we have a couple games from eBay, and these are from the eBay stores. Kill Screen Games. They're relatively close to me, but not close enough to, for me to pick up in store. Uh, they're they're kind of like on the other side of the state where I live. So, these are PlayStation games I used to have on the PC, and since the PC is not always a master race, I, you know, I always hear it being, especially when games go obsolete after a while, um, and you just upgrade the PCs, and you're like, oh, I can't play these. So, I've been on a revival project for a while, here and there, trying to pick up games I used to have on the PC, and then get them for another console, like N64, GameCube, or PlayStation, as we see here. So, I'm going through a whole bunch for PlayStation right now. And we have Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters and Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. Apparently, according to the back of this box, this is the first 3D platformer Looney Tunes game. I don't know if that's actually true. I will look that up more on my own. But I am intrigued to play it again on the PlayStation. And Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters, I used to play that not only on my own, but also since it has a two-player cooperative mode, I used to play it with my older brother, quite a bit. We had a lot of fun, you know, playing through the game and completing it, so I am looking forward to playing it again, even if it's a one-player experience. I'll get to switch in between Bugs and Taz as necessary. So, what is going on with the channel? Well, a while ago, in 2016, I've done hauls here and there that include things such as Nintendo Amiibo, uh, Disney Infinity, and just other video games. I've even had a couple of collectathons that involve video game collections for different consoles. I will be continuing on the collectathons for things like the Wii and Wii U, the Xbox 360, and now that we've added a new member to the family, the PlayStation and PlayStation 2. Now, I will be also updating some of those videos because I did get a few more games for the GameCube and the N64, so you'll get to see more of that. But I wanted to put a little bit more on the channel that doesn't always have to do with LEGO. Sometimes it does it's a little bit, like there are some LEGO video games I'd like to talk about on here, and I've done so in the past, but not in the best quality. So I'll see if I can pick up a little bit more on that in the future. But I hope you guys enjoy for those videos because I know that some people like playing video games whether or not they are LEGO related. And I personally like to just kind of group some of the things that I like together. It's not going to take over the entire channel. It's probably going to be, you know, less than a third of the content that will be produced on Maniac for Bricks in 2017. So think of it like my friend TF Bricks. He also collects... Uh, Transformers, and also, uh, while I think of it, Bricks on the Dollar also collects Transformers as well as Lego. It's just another hobby that people do, and it doesn't have to just be a Lego-centric channel. Heck, I've even done Connects and Mega Blocks occasionally on Maniac for Bricks in the past, and I might still do a few here and there. So, I hope you guys are enjoying that. I hope you're looking forward to some of that content. Let me know in the comments below, what are your fond memories of PlayStation games from the past? I do have a list of some other PlayStation games to get, mostly on the LEGO side, in fact, including LEGO Racers 2, um, LEGO Soccer Mania. I also think that Nicktoons Racing, I believe, was also on the PlayStation. I would like to get that again. So there's a couple here and there to still find every once in a while. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.